Now, with just under three weeks to go, management of Bishop Auckland's spectacular nighttime show, Kinran, have insisted everything will be in place for opening night on July the 2nd. And there's a promise there'll be enough parking around the show site, which is in the shadow of Auckland Castle. Well, our business correspondent, Ian Reeves, has been looking at some of the work needed to cope with something like 8,000 8, visitors for each of the 14 summer shows. It may be a cliché, but the site of Bishop Auckland's night show, called Kinran, is a hive of activity and on track for a July the 2nd premiere. Yes, we are putting right now the final touches um, across the site. So the cladding of various buildings, um, the uh, final surfaces. So it's very much at snagging items uh, phase right now. On target then, but how will the site of the spectacular historical show deal with the potential 8,000 visitors a night? Can it cope? We have um, provisions for about 3,000 cars um, in a spread from our site to um, satellite sites and inside the town. And, and quickly in and out as well, people can get. Yes, yes, because uh, in the grand scheme of things, this is a medium sized event and uh, our experts in traffic management have really looked into it uh, quite closely over the last few months and they've uh, finalised the plan that will allow our visitors to, to really um, get out quickly. Kinran will show the story of our country from a northeast perspective. And the hope is that Bishop Auckland will gain some economic benefits from that telling. Alicia has a tea room in the town's marketplace and like many cafes and restaurants she's extending her opening hours to provide a service. Before the show and after the show will be open for refreshments and food and even just toilet breaks. I mean if you've been sitting throughout there and the toilets are busy you can come in here and the people who are volunteering for Kinran, if they show their lanyards, they get a discount on food and drinks as well. Tony and Claire too are preparing for Kinran visitors. Their nearby hotel, like many others, has seen a spike in bookings, but also a different sort of visitor, more discerning, more upmarket, perhaps changing the nature of Bishop Auckland. It isn't a, th a Disney theme park, it isn't Alton Towers, that isn't the people who are going to be coming. And I suspect there'll be quite a lot of more mature people and maybe fewer families with younger children um, and they will have different needs and we've got to be aware of that. And that is one of the hoped for outcomes of Kinran, that it will prove transformative economically and socially in this small part of County Durham. Ian Reeve, BBC Look North, Bishop Auckland.